Oh, hello, this is Daily Cardings with Bijan. I'm gonna keep you guys up to date on everything car every single day at 6 p.m. Pacific. Hope you guys are having a great day. So on today's episode, we're gonna talk about Tesla's absolute weirdness. So Tesla likes to do things differently. They like to keep things simple. They like to keep things beautiful. They, I understand that, that's totally fine. So you know how since the beginning of when we've had cars, we've had a gear selector. So if you want drive, you pull it into drive, or if it's a manual, you clutch and put in gear, you have reverse and neutral and drive and park. And there's a little light that tells you where you are in the gear selector. Tesla was like, ha ha, let's do this completely differently and confuse the hell out of everybody. So on all of the new X's and Y's, there's no more gear selector. No offense, but how? So unless Tesla tells you how to select the gear, you actually have no idea on how to make your car move. To make your car move, on the touchscreen, there's a little photo of your car. You swipe up to go forward. It doesn't give confirmation, it doesn't give a ding, it doesn't say drive, it doesn't make a noise, it doesn't tell you really anything. There's just a photo of a car. You want reverse? Cool. Throw it into reverse. You swipe down. Again, no confirmation, no reverse light, no way to know you're actually in gear unless I push on the gas pedal and I go, oh, okay, I'm in reverse. Why? Tesla, your cars are awesome, but why? I mean, I understand you want to keep things simple. You probably want less on the dash, less on the steering wheel. You just want the iPad set up with the steering wheel and that's about it. Now, I'm sure in a few years, you're gonna find a way to even not have a steering wheel. Elon will do more R&D. He'll link the car to your brain, so if you want it to turn or stop or go, it'll just read signals from your brain. But until then, we need a steering wheel. And it would be very nice to have a gear selector because if you haven't noticed, there's no neutral. You have to go into settings and it's hidden in the menus and then, oh, there's neutral there. Not even like a button or, I don't know, just Prindle, Prindle. You could just put P-R-N-D. You don't even need the L, just P-R-N-D with a light next to it on the big iPad. Super easy to rework, not a big deal. But no, we have a little car now that moves the car forward and backward. And we have to go into the settings to find neutral if your car runs out of charge, which happens pretty regularly because we're switching to electric and it takes us as people a while to get used to it to know how long our range actually is. So then to tow your car, you have to go, oh wait, sorry, tow truck driver. Let me go into my settings and remember how to do this and put it in neutral. Why? Now, from my point of view, I don't get it. From Tesla's point of view, I'm trying to understand it. So the best thing I can come up with is they did this for a couple reasons. Like I said earlier, it's probably to keep it nice and sleek and simple on the inside. Elon wants it to, it seems like just be a steering wheel and an iPad, and that's about it. And having the little gear selector is ugly and it takes away from the beauty of the car. So there's that. There's also probably cost savings to it. Being able to program the computer and the iPad to select your gears, instead of having the little gear selector, there's probably some saved costs there. But at what point do you stop looking to cut things out and create simplicity? Because it still needs to be convenient. Like it's a car. We use it to drive forward and backward and go places. So, you know, seats and cup holders and a steering wheel and a gear selector would all be a very nice thing to have. I don't know why it reminds me of this, but if any of you out there have bought the new Dodge Demon, then you know you had some interesting options when you were setting up your car. You could have gone that drag pack, which is super cool, the skinnier tires in the front, and a reflash for the ECU. But while you were going through the options, the car doesn't include a passenger seat. You can include the passenger seat for $1. Why would you even have that option? Is it like a weight saving thing? Or is it just like a meme or a joke? Cause it's a dollar. Like who would want to buy the car without the passenger seat? I mean, I guess if it's only going to be a drag strip car, but there's no passenger seat. Now, in my personal opinion, do I think this is going to last very long? 
I think Tesla's gonna get a lot of backlash for this and I think they're probably gonna give some sort of rework, update the software so at least we get a ding or some sort of notification so we know we're actually switching between gears because I think at the moment all you get is when you swipe up, you get a couple little lights that flash on the screen that show that you selected forward and a couple little lights that flash on the screen or a couple little dots that flash on the screen to show that you selected reverse. But that doesn't give peace of mind. I mean, for so long we've had a light or a ding or a something that tells us we're in a different gear or we can just look down and see it's in a different gear. The other thing about this is it doesn't stay in that position. So there isn't like a one, two, and three, where if you're here and you wanna to go to drive, you swipe up and it stays here. No, you swipe up, it goes back down. It gives you a couple little dots and goes back to center. You want reverse, you swipe down, gives you a couple little dots, and then it goes back to center. So I imagine that's gonna be super annoying when you're pulling into a tight parking spot on the street. You're like, oh, sorry, let me back up. Oh, uh. Okay, let me back up a little more. Oh, let me go forward. Okay, let me move forward a little bit more. That's so strange, man. But I guess time will tell. We'll kind of see. Uh, maybe Elon will keep it as it is, and I'll say you guys will get used to it, or he'll give a rework in one of the new software versions. I guess we'll see soon. That's going to be it for today's Daily Car News. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.